If you're tired of sending the same email over and over again inside of Outlook, copying and pasting back and forth, then this video is for you. In this video, I'll show you how to create an email template inside of Outlook the new way using AI coming up. So as you know, templates are really efficient ways to save time sending frequent responses or messages via email. With Outlook, there is a native template option to create and use emails to send a message. It's pretty decent actually, but it's somewhat dated. Allow me to share with you another approach that makes use of AI technology that will save you the hassle of Outlook's somewhat dated approach. To follow along, you'll need to install the browser extension Magical, which works on both Chromium and Microsoft Edge browsers. Magical is sort of like your digital friend that loves to help you automate mundane tasks. Okay, so now that you've installed Magical successfully, I'm here in my Outlook account and I'm ready to send an email. The email I'll be sending is to influencers who are open to collaborating with Magical to use our fantastic tool. If ever we have to send an email like this, it would always be best to have a template at the ready so we can just input it and send it off to the influencer. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. First, you'd need to create a template by heading over to the Magical toolbar at the right of your screen. Then you can click on the Home button to take you to Magical Workspace. You'll have a number of options. So if you click on this down arrow here where it says create, you can click that and you'll see the different options which, which you can start with to create your template. Now the first being your copy and paste option. With the copy and paste option, what this allows you to do is to simply go to a Word document or wherever you have a pre-existing template and copy that entire text. Then you'd be able to head back into Magical and paste it using this option from your history of what you would have previously copied. We also have other options like the top rated template with which you can click on. And as you can see, we have a number of pre-existing templates for different scenarios. You can navigate it by looking at the different applications on the left hand side, or you can scroll down and just click more until you find what you're looking for. If you're more technically inclined, then you can use the Zendex macros or you can use the CSV or JSON file options. Now, if you're like me, I'm not familiar with all of these tools, so I tend to stick to using the AI assist option, which I will show you in just a second. So to create my template for this example, what I'm gonna do is click on this create option here and start with a blank slate. Next, I'm going to use the AI assist option to which you can see you can simply ask AI to create your template. Now I could type this out, but I already had a prompt already prepared. So I'm just gonna control V and paste that in there. Now notice you can also select from a different options for the writing style. You can keep it casual, professional, or you can try something fun like currently we're seeing Doctor Strange, which is probably not something I want to send to these influencers. So I'm gonna keep it professional and then I'm gonna click on this icon to start the prompt. Now, as you can see, that took just a number of seconds to be able to generate a response that I can immediately send off to these influencers. However, I'm gonna take a little bit of second here and add in some placeholders and really configure this so that I can use it at any time and with anyone, regardless of the influencer's name or the person that I'm dealing with. So as you can see, I've made some adjustments here and I've added in some placeholders like the number of posts and the followers so that when I scrape information from their Instagram, it will automatically populate it along with their first name. Now, all I need to do now is create a trigger so I'm going to do hyphen outreach. And once I save it, I'll be able to use this anywhere on my browser and be able to send out emails at will. Okay, so now that I'm back in Outlook, I can start using my template. To do so, I'm simply going to use the backslash backslash trigger. So as you can see, I have the option here to fill out my template. Now what I can do is I can simply click on any of the placeholders and once I've scraped information, which we talk about in a number of our videos, I can use that option to fill out different areas of this particular email so that I no longer have to copy and paste back and forth. So for this particular use case, I'm going to use this option of a user that I've looked at and I can also go and pull his information. Once that's done, I will insert it and as you can see, I can quickly send this off. Imagine doing this for a number of influencers. This will just make it so much easier and it's a quick and neat way to do it without using Outlook's outdated option. All right, so let me show you a pretty nifty trick as well to also create templates. What I didn't share with you is that you can also click on this option right here in the toggle and create templates directly from the side panel. So like I said, you have all the features, so you can do the same thing with copy and paste, or you can use our 
top templates, Zendesk and CSV option, or you can simply click create and create it right from the window in which you are located. This is really powerful if you really want to keep a workflow where you can create your template and then immediately use it inside of the email client that you're currently using. So what do you think? It's pretty simple, right? Well, this is just one of the little tricks Magical has up its sleeve. Also, if you're using Gmail or any other email client that allows for web access, you can use Magical in a similar fashion to utilize the power of templates in your workflow. We specifically created a video if you're a Gmail user, so you can click here to access it. If you'd like to try Magical for yourself, then click the link in the description and be sure to like the video if this was of any value. Well, that's all for now. I'm Michael from Magical and I'll see you in the next one.